football against this talented Hawkeye defense. Out of the pistol, they'll begin with Stephen Carr. He's a new addition, a USC grad transfer. Four-yard gains, so second and six. And this time, the ball pops out in front. Because the quarterback lost and then gained possession, we have intentional grounding on the offense, number nine, spotted the foul, lost it down. It will be second down. Enough. You see, there he drops the exchange. Iowa rushes four pass through the hands and intercepted. Matthews couldn't hold it in and it turns. Gets for Iowa. Well, Penix gets rid of the football off the hands and right into the grips of Riley Moss, who takes it all the way back. Matthews has got to make that catch. Moss, opportunistic, going into the end zone by Matthews, but I don't think this rattles the quarterback. Carr tries to bounce it outside. Last year, but Michael Penix got hit a lot. Penix this time tossing it out. Carr stepped up. Penix on third and three. Caught first down, fighting five. Well, you see here, Marshall is just running a seven route to the sideline. They're so quickly before Jack Kerner can get over there. 21 yard gain now underneath and quickly hit. And some movement. Ball start. Offense at number 77. Five yard penalty. Second down. Burn out their tackles is what Kurt Ferris told us and Jack Campbell. You know I love linebackers, Brandon. <laughs> Watch that young man in the middle, number 31. Second down at 13. Penix lets it go just in time. But two. Penix looking for 13 yards here. Hit again as he throws. And, and you'll see here the rush. You see, at first it was. Carr trying to find some space up the field. And Penix again deferring to number five and the former USC Trojan due to the ACL and one to a broken clavicle. But this time up the middle, first down carry. They need to stay out of those negative plays against the Hawkeyes. Three straight runs make it four straight runs. And Carr got it. Clean pocket this time and a great strike. That good arm of Michael Penix finding Fry Fogel. And the reigning Big Ten receiver of the year with a big gain to the ninth. Defense on the road gets a 16. Thank you, Mike. This time Penix rolling out. Slot. With those big bodies, you have to wonder if you use them on some kind of fades. Car back out there, but nowhere to go. Penix lets it go to the middle, and it's. They're really uh, gap sound, they're disciplined, they have great eye control. Nice job by their coaching staff. Penix. Yeah. Penix so far is just three of ten. And Ball start. Offense number 77. Five yard penalty. Third down. And in search of 17 yards, Childers, his first carry. Penix has struggled to get a lot of completions here. Big story on the other sideline after a six yard gain, second and four. Carr gets the nod, lowers the head. Can they get the one yard option play in the pitch at the last second? And then Carr with plenty of room. Of Jones here. He's going to let the edge rusher go, and he's going to get Jack Campbell, the Mike linebacker. They're going to option off Kerner. And then Caleb Jones has Campbell. There was no carries, 39 yards so far. Penix twisting and turning and making. Very high on Hendershot. Said that he had the best eight months possibly of any player they've seen. Yeah, a huge offseason for him. They go.
There are two fouls, both by the offense. Unnecessary roughness, personal foul, number 56. That penalty is declined. Offensive pass interference, number one, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Is not Holding. in medicine. He Offense. is going to be Number okay. Comes to the climb. Second down. And we Let's see what Penix has in store. Too tall. Have met as ranked opponents. The other was back in '91. Penix opts to keep this, but then he's. Penix this time over the middle. Between the tackles. And a red shirt junior over the middle again, and then a hard. I don't see him dropping his eyes looking at the pass rush at all. Six games last year before that injury in late November. He defers to Carr here, the USC transfer. He had plenty of time and incomplete. As you said, he stays calm in that pocket. It's incredible with how often he gets hit. He keeps his eyes downfield extremely well, knowing he's going to take a shot. And just the flick of Jones taking to that coaching. These two teams, top three in the Big Ten in turnover margin last year. And there's another pick by Riley Moss! Are you kidding me? Two picks! Watch Riley Moss right here at the bottom of your screen. He's playing off coverage. He does not even move. He's expecting this route. Boom! Puts his foot in the ground, jumps it. And two pick sixes in week one. That's... that's <laughs> Now down 28 to 3. There's Fry Fogel. Came over, had plenty of time to adjust, but first time these guys have been in a game together. Penix, another interception. Penix going underneath. There's Peyton Hendershot, so there's a solid start to the half. This and expects a much better second half from his quarterback. See if he can provide that. First play was a 12-yard pass. And here's another completion, this time. Four goal to go up and make a play. That was Matthew's first reception in a Hoosier uniform. Here's Stephen Carr. Carr up the middle. Get that first down. Swinging it out, Carr, this time in the pass game. Oh, the issue down the field to make a mistake. Buckley motions out. Over the middle, third down coming up. Indiana 5 of 11 on third down. This one going nowhere. Penix over the middle, first down. And more got tripped up. Did you hear the linebackers are mugged up in the line of scrimmage? So you're trying to show pressure. And what that does, though, it gives you a harder time getting back in the depth of your zone coverage. Nice job by Penix recognizing that and hitting Freifogel right in between those backers dropping out. 33 yards, Indiana's longest play of the day, and then they give it to five on this drive. Going for the end zone, too tall. Indiana just a field goal to their credit so far. Penix, take it down. Well, Van Ness gets the sack, but Zach Van Valkenburg was the one. Right? As they piled in early for the tailgate. Indiana trying to get Carr around the edge. A flag comes in here. Holding offense, number 77. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. 
first down. Wentz. So now Pinnock steals with a first and 20. And he throws another interception. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number correction. Defense number 92. 15 yard pony from the previous spot. Automatic. So it's not a fourth interception because. Can Indiana capitalize? Helmets colliding. That one, boy, Penix has had a, another opportunity to pin his ears back on third and nine. Penix, no. Years here at Kinnick Stadium. Yeah. Michael Penix has missed on his last four passing attempts, and that stops right here. DJ Matt. Just a minute left in the third quarter. Oh. I and Tuttle's first throw is batted down. He's a guy who's really struggling, who needs to make sure that he is healthy for the rest of the Hoosier season. Yeah, and obviously. This is the right decision for the Hoosiers. And Tuttle underneath it completes here this afternoon. After the fumble yes, recovery, right, Indiana's off. All right, Mike, thank you very much. We'll monitor that one. Here, there are six minutes left. It's like that Iowa streak's going to jump to 23. Extremely well. They develop them. They just go out there and play good ball. Bar gets stacked up. In the coverage. At most, the rushing five playing fire zone. And here, they're getting the car again. Two guys stand out. Little hole and another hurdle. This time. I'm not sure you're looking at Cincinnati as one that you have to really worry about, but that's a talented football team. First carry for Urban Poindexter. 